This is chapter 2, question 22, um, from the Graviter and Walno um, textbook, Statistics for the Behavioral Sciences, 10th edition. Um, and what I have laid out is what is in the textbook. So the question states, the following table shows four rows from a frequency distribution table for a sample of n equals 20 scores. Use interpolation to find the percentiles and percentile ranks requested. Looking here, we can see this is a grouped frequency distribution. So by looking at this x column, we can see that this is a grouped frequency distribution. We can see that we don't have the full frequency distribution because the cumulative frequency here is 5, but the frequency of this lowest row is only 3. We do know, though, that we have the the top part of the frequency distribution because A, the question says n equals 20 scores and we've got a cumulative frequency of 20. But even if the question didn't tell us that there are 20 scores, we can tell that there are only 20 scores because if we go across, the cumulative percentage says it's 100%, which means this must be the top row of the frequency distribution. Remember, when we have a frequency distribution over here, when we have a grouped frequency distribution, um, we lose some data. So these three scores are somewhere between um, the lower real limit of 9.5 and the upper real limit of 19.5, but we don't know what that exact value is. Um, so if the width of the x column was smaller, we'd know perhaps whether it was between 10 uh, or 9.5 and 14.5 or 14.5 and 19.5 if the width, instead of being the width of 10, was 5, for example. So what we're going to do now is find the 30th percentile. And I'll do that in the next video so that we have um, slightly shorter, shorter videos to watch and to upload.